hello dear students welcome once again again this is the video for chapter number 6 and the name of the chapter is already been known to you if you don't know the name of the chapter i will remind you chapter number 6 is yes human resources again you have been provided with the answers for the questions which are included in the textbooks the first question is write the importance of census and answer will be collection and cataloging of information about people living in a country or any particular region of a country is known as the census this is done in order to take necessary measures census is mandatory in order to plan out countries five year development plan in regard to food water housing facilities industry electricity employment education and conservation so while writing these answers you should keep in mind that every sentence which is given here is not starting with the capital like uh, if i remind you here you can see this this should have t capital and here census should have c capital but uh, while typing it was not uh, coming in capital or we can say that in a hurry we have just typed uh, as it was here so write these <coughs> sentences beginning with capital letters that thing you will have to keep in mind grammatical mistakes must be avoided here in the video and you should write it in a proper way in your notebooks let us continue with the second question why does the population increase at a fast rate the answer will be the rapid growth increase in population was mainly due to decreasing death rate which means more rapid than birth rate and particularly because of increase in average human age so once again i will read the rapid growth increase in population was mainly due to decreasing death rate so i think you should avoid writing this you just cancel this one no need to write this word and after that you can continue and particularly because of increase in average human age about writing this particular word <coughs> question number three what do you understand by birth rate and death rate now first of all we will define the birth rate the total life births in one year per thousand person in a given area is known as birth rate for the past years the birth rate in india has been constantly declining people exercise family planning more than before now let us define the death rate the number of deaths in one year per thousand person in a specific area is termed as death rate we all know that the one who has taken birth has to die hence the death rate can never be zero let us go to the next question the question is define population density the answer will be population density is a measurement of population per unit area or exceptionally unit volume density is frequently applied to living organisms most of the time to humans <coughs> question number five what do we understand by migration Sifting of people from one place to another is known as migration. People indulge into a range of activities in order to earn and develop. Socio-cultural needs also compel people for migration. So that's all. These are the answers for the questions in short. Then we have to answer the next which has the question explained in the term literacy. So what you will write you will have to write the development of any country depends on the literacy rate of that country literacy is the important criteria to measure the standard of living of population and its social development literacy is also the key to economic development of a nation that will be the exact explanation of the term literacy now explain the term age structure let us answer it 
the total population of a nation comprises of three age groups that is children adult and senior citizens among the above three groups maximum and the most important difference is seen in the first and third group and also you will have to make this table which is already given in the book so copy from there <coughs> next is explain the term population composition the classification of the total population into various categories is called population composition the categorization is done as per male female age group literacy rate rural urban areas religions linguistic group professional groups etc now let us see the answers in detail first one is give information about qualitative changes in population the answer will be the changes observed in the levels of health and education indicate qualitative changes it alters the way of thinking and behavior as well as style and standard of living the other factors responsible for qualitative changes are dedication hard work patriotism enthusiasm courage etc these factors bring about socio cultural changes so this is the first answer the second question is why is the human resource considered as the most important resource for a nation just you can read the answer human resource is the human capital of our country the development of a nation depends on its human capital it is the wealth of a nation development of a country depends not only on the area of the country or its natural resource but it is also based upon the quality and quantity of human resource that contribute to the economic development now these are the answers of fill in the blanks with appropriate word it is given in the textbook in on page number 51 first answer will be 382 person per square kilometer the second answer is the word itself second third one is hindu fourth one is 918 and fifth one is 16 percentage <coughs> so students i have provided you the answers of chapter number 6 and i hope that you might be able to get all these if you still find any difficulty you should feel free to ask me but you should not make a call i am giving you my whatsapp number you can send me the messages on this number so that i can clear your doubts So this is my whatsapp number if you find any difficulty regarding any question you can message me anytime so dear students that's all for now in this video of chapter number 6 we'll again meet with the answers of chapter number 7 good luck